not strictly based wireless sensor network for fire alarm monitoring in naval vessels. Four others are there. Uh, MDCPK Nathilaka, CPDK Kumar, KMC and Karunanayaka, MSD Paris, presented by Mr. Kumar. Let me give a brief introduction about Mr. Kumar. Mr. Kumar is an undergraduate in the Department of Electrical Electronic and Telecommunications Engineering at AEO. His research interests include uh, robotics, renewable energy, microcontrollers, and embedded systems wireless sensor networks also. He has published several papers, uh, especially in the Indian International Symposium. Over to you, This paper is about uh, wireless networks. Our research area focused on wireless sensor network for naval vessels. They don't. But there are a lot of wireless sensor network in the world. We specified our research area to CP based wireless sensor network on fire alarm detection on naval vessels. Why we select this CP? <coughs> CP is the most uh, suitable protocol for the maritime environment. Because we have done some images uh, that are the suitable wireless sensor uh, communication protocols. Out of that, uh, we found uh, many victims uh, said that uh, something like Naval Coast Guard School, they have published uh, papers. They selected uh, CP as the best protocol. So, proceed on that integer survey, we start our uh, research. There, uh, we identified that CP has a uh, good capacity of uh, making communication via uh, mesh networks uh, in this wireless uh, network. It is uh, actually 802.15.4 standard protocol, uh, very famous protocol. Many of you have heard about it. Wireless sensor network has one coordinator. So this coordinator is looking at about the other routers and end devices. Uh, this coordinator is responsible for forming the network, handing out addresses, managing the other functions that uh, define the network, securing it and keeping it healthy. <coughs> routers, uh, wireless sensor network, uh, even consists of number of routers. These routers are uh, joining the existing network, they send the information, receive the information, and <coughs> they route the information. The routers, uh, they have a special identity, they should always turn on the time because they are listening to the other, other routers. Two numbers of routers have been used in our project. End devices, they also uh, say, uh, take the say, uh, sensor information and uh, uh, save the information, but they are not uh, in the functions of routing uh, cable So they don't want the uh, one all the time. They can sleep, uh, they, we can do some sleeping time for the end devices. Then we can uh, secure the uh, power. This is what I explained. This is the coordinator and the routers are there and the end devices can be introduced for the system. These routers uh, always looking at the end devices and other routers. If, uh, if one router is getting paid, if uh, this one router is getting paid, this can now do this way. The efficiency of the system is increased if the number of sensors, uh, these nodes are increased. This is the network block diagram, overall system we have developed. Uh, this is one router. Even we can consider this as a end device. This can communicate directly to this coordinator. In here, this one, coordinator. So uh, this one also can directly communicate this coordinator. Even this one can communicate to this router and pass message to the coordinator. So reliability is very uh, 
Another and uh, this block uh, diagram. Well this block diagram. This is the inside of this one router is represented here. This is block diagram of one router. This one now router is uh, communicate with this CPU module, and these two sensors are attached to this CPU module. One is smoke detector, conventional smoke detectors. This is analog temperature sensor. So we can uh, take the uh, temperature value of the uh, specific compartment. Now, uh, conventional system, we don't measure the temperature values. We just get the uh, temperature uh, fire status only. And even that uh, conventional systems, we are we take only the zone. We have indicated in the only zone. So we can get exact compartment where the fire is. So that facilities is there. And uh, but power circuit we have designed in the battery backup system. If the power failure is of us, this can stand around uh, two hours or one and a half hours. So uh, even that even the fire is going on, we can monitor continuously what happened in the compartment. The specific temperature level is increased. So uh, there are some uh, sensitive equipments. So we should be aware now temperature, what the kind of temperature level in the compartments. And another thing uh, that after getting these values, these values are taken by this CPU module and it will process these values. Process and calculate the temperature values. If the temperature values in certain level, this will uh, use the alarm and this will send, uh, send the message. It will generate the SMS and send to the specific person authorities in the chip. And after processing these values, this will transfer this uh, data to the Raspberry Pi module. Raspberry Pi module will be displayed this in a separate graphical user interface. So we can we can real time monitor the temperature. We can uh, real time uh, see the which compartment is fired over one of the zones. This is the coordinator module we have developed. This is the circuit uh, we have produced, and this is the GUI display. You can see uh, uh, keeping this one in the bridge or chip uh, monitoring area. And this is the alarm. This is the router or end device. I have shown the block diagram. This is the conventional uh, power uh, by alarm uh, sensor. And there are some analog sensors also mounted, uh, power circuits. And this uh, CP router will take the other values and route. But uh, in here, after taking the all those values, that Arduino will process the data, which will, uh, it will uh, calculate the temperature values and take the uh, fire status, and it will make some this kind of data array, and it will pass those data array to the Raspberry uh, Pi module. Processor always has to be look after the. Differentiate the data packets cor uh, corresponding to the sensor node because number of sensors are there. All sensors route the data. Processor should have to identify which sensor data is coming. Depend on the address, it will differentiate the which compartment file is open. And once they extract uh, the uh, data packets, within the data packet, number of uh, things are there: destination address, source network address, number of samples, and log channel mask. Number of things are there, so we have to. Uh, carry for, uh, we have to take the actual digital value and the value from that uh, data set. And after that, we have to calculate the analog reading depend on the sensor specifications. And further, they will make array and data array and send to the Raspberry Pi only. Raspberry Pi only uh, will be process each values of data array and plot in real time. So uh, now available system on board ship, uh, ships are not uh, capable of this facility. Uh, we can't see the temperature values on the protein on board ships. So we, uh, we, we can compare each of the compartment what happened, the temperature values when fire is going on. And we can take the uh, safety measures. Fire 
file integration logo will be also changed as per that. And this is our graphical user interface we developed by uh, Python language. And uh, these are the real time uh, monitoring facilities. And uh, this is the functions we have done. We have done the prototype test on board. The activities were uh, visible or not. This is the future work that people can uh, develop. Thank you very much, Kumar. Let us take a few questions on this uh, and the topic. What are conclusions like? Is there conclusions like?